Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Infraspace. Ooh, why did I say it like that? That was weird. That was very weird. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to where we got to last time. Oh god, there's a lot of roads it's updating. Yeah, so this isn't quite what you saw at the end of last video. However, you may have noticed this was the thumbnail. So basically, last time I added so many trains, it broke the game, like a thousand trains or something. That was funny. That was cool. But like, there was nothing you could see, like visually, to know what was going on. So I sort of had to make this to make a thumbnail. And I'm sort of thinking now, let's just leave it. I quite like it. <laughs> I do need to finish it, though. So I disconnected these just so all the trains would stack up. Uh, so let's just go into here, grab a rail and say, go from there over to there. Sorted. And now the trains are all moving again. Uh, whether I want to keep that many trains, I'm not sure. Are they still spawning? Oh god, yep, they're still spawning. <laughs> There's 300 trains on that train line. That's probably a little bit too many. Why are no resources? Why are there no trucks? There should be trucks coming from these iron mines. Outgoing storage full. So basically our train line ends up here. This is like a massive steel factory. Oh god, look at that road. That's a hell of a jump. That's horrible. All right, there we go. Sort of fixed. Sort of fixed. Are these guys full of iron or something? They've got 11 iron. Oh, they got 22 being delivered. Okay, I think that's the trouble then. I think we're only loading trains if there's iron on the way. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> These trains, like, they're that long. Only that carriage there has cargo on it. Oh, and they're all clogged up. It's beautiful. Maybe we should reduce them. <laughs> Are they still spawning? Oh, they, they're actually still spawning. Right, I'm reducing the number of trains. <laughs> it's a little bit too much. Let's go back down. I need to get the auto clicker back out, don't I? Oh, look, there are trucks coming. Do you see that one? Look, just went in there. Okay, trains are still spawning. Oh, God. We're down to 101 trains, like the number of Dalmatians. Oh, no, they're all starting again. Oh, I didn't realize I was deleting them all. Oh no. Oh well, okay. So we got 101 train missions. Yeah, and we'll leave that as it is. Right, so thinking sensibly now, what was our next project for this lovely place? Ah yes, I think it was over this direction. We were gonna make an electronics factory, if I remember correctly. So to make electronics, we need iron ore and copper. And then we want to turn those electronics into microchips, which we need sand. Sand's easy to get. And then we want to turn those microchips into computers, which means aluminium. So we need aluminium, iron, copper, and sand. So I think over here somewhere, there was that perfect combo. Aluminium, copper, iron. Sorted. This is where it's going to be. So perhaps short term, maybe it's best to just build some housing first. So this is our like where people live. They're all like level three, the crystal maze. They've all got parks. They're struggling to get the computers, which is what they need to level up to this, the residential building. Uh, oh, they're also lacking in oxygen a bit. Uh, not ideal. These are our oxygen producers. Why is the efficiency? Oh, there you go. Not enough workers. Oh, and not enough power. We might need some more power. So what power network is this part of? All right, this one. Yeah, you can see we're, we're few megawatts below what we need so i'm gonna add a few more wind turbines and as before we gotta space these out so that they don't touch the circles because that lowers the efficiency as you can see there so they're 20 megawatts each so that should be pretty good i think we'll just connect them up a bit so now they're all connected so if we click on this now there you go we're making plenty of power now but yeah right let's build a few more bits of housing then and maybe some more oxygen as well so basic habitat so they should level up reasonably quickly. Now I am a little bit worried about the oxygen situation so perhaps I might do some oxygen down here. Let's bung a road in. We'll just do one row of those because obviously we don't really have the jobs. You can see down here our population 1400 in the red because the number of jobs 1900. I think it's mainly all those trains. <laughs> Maybe I could get rid of more trains. <laughs> let's actually, let's see. Does that actually work? So 1964. Oh no. Okay, apparently they're autonomous trains. Okay, we'll leave it as 101 trains. But yeah, back over here. Did you see that? This habitat. It's already upgraded to a decent habitat. And people are moving in. They're in these pink Jeeps. The pink hover G-Wagons. G-Wagon, G-Wagon, G-Wagon. So yeah, people are moving into those, which means this number should be going up. It should match this number soon. This is our housing number. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. They're all upgrading. They're all upgrading. Oh, maybe we should do some more because we're still we're still like 25 cents short. Oh, look, that, that number's gone yellow now. Oh, look, and these are already crystal mazes. Nice. Man, housing is flying up. But yeah, we're going to struggle to get these residential buildings, which is the next upgrade from the crystal maze. They need more computers. These ones 
ones are okay because they're closer. Like over this end, they're not even getting any computers. So that's what we're going to go build over here. So we're going to start with the aluminium, which is up here, just because it's furthest away. So we just want to build a road, something like that. We need to get the placement exact by doing a large aluminium mine and making sure it can mine. So yep bonk these around the edge and that is sorted so now we're mining aluminium and we want to take it down to where our electronics factory is so i think we'll probably sort that out first we've got copper and iron and i think that's all we need so i'm sort of thinking if we can build like all the way around this in a nice curve we can sort of maximize the number of mines on there so what do we want large iron mines and yes i do realize i'm probably building too many of these but i just can't help myself hey look how cool they look how can I not build all of them? All right, and again, these need power. All right, so next we've got our copper. So I'm sort of thinking if we can take this road, perhaps through there, threading the needle, we can end up by the copper. So we'll switch to highway, which is this third one. I don't think we've unlocked four yet. No, we haven't. Uh, we'll just do single lane highway. Basically, we'll just aim over there between that gap. All right, so I've just gone around this a few times just so I can get the height because I want to make sure I can get through this gap. So we'll go through there and then as we'll come down, we'll just lower down. So like that. I think we want to end up about there and go around that edge. But this needs to be replaced by one of these, a concrete road. I think we're going to do replace road with a two-way. So all the iron will come down onto this road. Hopefully the iron, we can click on this and change the traffic management. It's already set up. So people coming down here, they'll go onto the left lane, which means the right lane should be for the copper miners. And we'll just bung these along this edge so like that. They need power. All right, so that's sorted. So next up, we need to turn all of that into electronics. So if we stick with our two-way road, I think we'll just do like a straight line up here. It's on a bit of a hill but i'm sort of i'm trying to re recreate like san francisco or something so we'll do electronics factories along this road so up to there so they're getting loads of resources now all the coppers are coming out if we go over this way yep all the iron is leaving <laughs> oh i love that i love that a lot so that's building electronics next we want to build these a microchip factory so for that we need sand as well okay so if we put one there and one at the bottom should be able to do a road between them and we can connect these together move them a little bit so things aren't so cocked up we'll fill this road with microchip factories and you can see we're getting a massive boost of efficiency being so close to the electronics factories we're also making far too many jobs Maybe I shouldn't have gone so big to start with. But yes, these need sand. So I was thinking along here somewhere, we'd do a load of sand factories. Oh, look, there's more aluminium there as well. So maybe we'll take some of that aluminium. We may as well. So if we do like a road along there, and then we can just do along here with sand factories. To be honest, we'll probably just put some large aluminium mines in there. Just so that it's right there. We may as well. That one looks like it was placed by an architect, but... Uh... <laughs> Never mind. Right, so power for these. Do one of those there, one of those there, and then substation. So they're all powered. We need to power these top ones. So I'm going to put a substation right about there. I'm going to put a power plant there in the shade. Oh, wow, we need 73 megawatts. Okay, we need another one. So we'll put one there. All right, so that's hopefully all those sorted. I'm a bit worried we don't have the jobs. I think that's why there's no sand, because no one's working. No, they are working. We're just not enough workers. Minus 40% efficiency. <laughs> That's why I built so many. All right, so that's all getting there. Next in the chain, we're going to need a computer factory. So yes, we finally made it. And look at all the efficiency. We don't even need workers. I'm sure there's some maths I could be doing to work out the most efficient way of doing this, the number I should put in. But uh, sometimes just brute force going for as many as you can fit in is an acceptable solution in my books. All right, so here you go. You can see all the aluminium trucks. They're the white ones. They're coming around. So are the green ones. They're carrying electronics. Yeah, and I think we're sort of doing okay. Is that everything we need? Because we've got aluminium. We've got microchips. We've got electronics. That could be everything we need. So now we just got to connect this to the rest of our city. Look, they're gagging for our computer chips. So we've already got computer chips coming from this end, which is like where the factories are over there. So if we bring one over this way, I sort of think we build a brand new highway. Oh wait, I've just realized we haven't connected our aluminium. This is our aluminium. Yes, I thought something was up. because so we've only got a very small, we've only got four aluminium mines connected. We need aluminium to come in here. Yes, I remember now. I'll tell you what then, first I might build a little roundabout down here. 
so let's delete those. Let's go from here. Oh, we can't go straight down. And what if we do? I just, I just want to see. Can I like trick the game? So can I go move motorway? Oh, we can put a massive bridge in. Whoa, look at that. So that's how we get around building super high bridges. Ooh, that could be useful. Okay, I thought that might work, and it does. Right, so basically, if I build like that, then I can move this node. Oh my god, I could build a bridge that long. That only costs 42 steel. <laughs> How does that only cost 42 steel? I sort of want to do it just because I can. Okay, I've done it. Oh god, the game doesn't like that. The game doesn't like that. Oh no, have I crashed it? Oh, there you go, because it, it computes a line of best fit, and the line of best fit goes through rocks. Okay, is there anywhere I can move it to where it will work? No, not really, but I can do a bridge for no reason over to there. All right, so next we'll just continue, and we want to come down and connect in around here somewhere. So down here we're going to do our roundabout. Now, I haven't actually done a roundabout in this game yet, so I think we'll do a two-lane roundabout, and we'll... I don't know how to draw circles on this. That ain't too bad. That is not too bad. Okay, right, now we'll try and connect all of these up. So we got that road coming in there. Cool. We got that one going off. Oh, the game didn't like that. And then we've got this one, which is one of those going in there. Right, I might be able to make this a bit neater just by doing that. If we unlock that. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, we've actually done it. We've finally done it. Drugnado. <laughs> Trucknado t-shirt coming soon. Right, I'm leaving that. I'm loving the Trucknado. So yeah, we got a roundabout. Let's sort out the traffic management. So that's not too bad. I guess you can go straight ahead as well. Like, just go anywhere you want, guys. This one, we want both lanes to go left. Like, people can go around if they want, but there's no real need to. Like, we don't actually want this arm. It's a bit of a pointless roundabout. But yeah, cool. That's good. Oh, man, I, I'm tempted to do a Trucknado t-shirt now. All right, not enough power in Network 21. Oh, God, yeah, we need we need some power. And we're just about making enough power now. 150 megawatts, we got to make 146. So that is good. We built a bridge that we didn't even need. Love it. Okay, and as long as they can get electronics, we should be sorted. We might have to add some more electronics. And yeah, perhaps we'll do that because we could do a junction read it through here go up this hill and then connect back into that road so can we oh we can't go through that area okay we might have to come around here come along there come along here we'll take that up and over and then we'll plonk one there one up the top oh look we've leveled up we've reached level four we've got new technologies to research sweet okay so remember where we got to we haven't finished with that but because we've got so many residential areas uh, we've actually got enough where is it it was city level yeah so we got a thousand level four citizens which is what we're aiming for now we need 2,000 level 5 citizens. Oh god, we don't even have 2,000 people. Well, it also says here, your city will be demoted to small town if you have fewer than 900 level 4s. So we've currently got 1,006. So we've got to keep track of that. All right, we may as well start researching then because we've been, we've been stuck on there. We haven't been able to research anything until we unlock large town and oh look at this six lane roads and then super highways i think that's what i'm going to focus my research on to start with although looking at super highways we need yellow research to do that and we haven't unlocked yellow research yet there you go there's yellow science so that's the yellow science pack factory so for that we need carbon nanotubes so we'll have to research that next cool okay all right meanwhile back over Hang on, I'm lost. I'm lost. Where am I going? Back over, back over here. There you go, where all the warning signs are. <laughs> All right, so more electronics factories along this road. All right, we'll do the traffic management here. We want you guys to go straight ahead, you to go left and straight ahead. And then down here, they can go into either lane. And I tell you what, I may as well upgrade these ones to a fast road. We'll just get them there a little bit faster. And then that's lacking iron. So we've got to make sure there is enough iron. Otherwise, we'll go find some more iron. There's a lot of traffic on there. That is beautiful. I am well chopped with that. That looks really good, right. So you can see down at this junction, all the iron and copper, they're all turning off. Oh, look, we've unlocked six lane roads. So we'll go back to research and it was carbon nanotubes. So that's our next one. So you can see these factories, they're all getting the iron and stuff they need now. So that should be all right. And then up the top, we'll just link this over to here, I think. So we'll grab these and go in about there. Lovely jubbly. So hopefully when electronics are built, from these factories they'll just go straight back 
down here through the truck nado and up here where they're needed oh and look we've unlocked the nanotubes factory as well hooray yeah, so now we'll unlock yellow science and then we can get the super highways researched next all right so the final thing we need to do is take these computers and we got to get it over to there so we're going to build a brand new highway oh and we could do the six laner one way test out our brand new motorway so we want to end up like over there if you can see that far so if we come out and sort of maybe go through that gap so we'll come over here we'll go we'll go up and then we'll do a straight road and we'll try and use our cheeky little glitch thing we learned so we want to end up down here somewhere oh look that comes through there fine <laughs> nice <laughs> oh no oh no <laughs> Oh, that's weird. The road disappears, depending on what way you're looking at it. I feel like I'm pushing this game a bit too far. <laughs> All right, so then we'll come from here, and we, just, we pretty much just want to come down to, like, over here somewhere. Oh, God, that's not good. I think it's disappearing because it's just two nodes, and two nodes aren't meant to go that far. I'll tell you what, I might just delete it and build it properly. Okay, we can build a legit road down to here, and we can come over that down to there. Just a T-junction at the end of a motorway. <laughs> Love it. All right, we've apparently cocked up some roadage over here. Are oh, you? Okay, if we grab this node, we might be able to bring it up. All right, hey. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like an idiot has created this, but no, it's it's for engineering purposes. Oh, look. Here they come. Look at them go. Oh, there's so many. All right, not enough power in network 23. That is this top one. I think that's because I built all of these. That's fair enough. That's technically beyond our land, but game seems to be okay with it. All right, wow, this... This is chocker now. Look at that. They're all trying to leave at once. Have we unlocked like... Oh, there are six way... Okay, I think we'll do that. If there's enough room, there might not be enough room. But we'll try and upgrade this road to a six way. Yes, there is. There is. We're good. So then that can go straight onto the highway like that. Right, there you go. Things are running again. The truck nado is going perfectly. Cool. That is a hell of a motorway. <laughs> Look at that. It looks so cool. Why does that look so cool? All right, so over here, we've got a bit of an oxygen crisis. I assume that's because there's not enough jobs. Oh, God, people can't get out. People can't get out. <laughs> there's just so many of these coming in. Look at them. All right, so imagine you're coming along this motorway. You see massive traffic jam on the right. Just stay in the middle lane. Just stay in the middle lane. <laughs> I wonder, can I fix that? Oh, I've worked out it's because that's a two-way. Does anyone want to go up there? No, I've just used the wrong road there. That should be that should be one way. I think we might just upgrade it to a three-way. So replace road is that one. Replace road. I think we'll do two-way along this stretch. And then this can be three-way. And then this middle one. Can we upgrade to that? No, I think that's too wide. What about that one? We can get away with this one. So I think we'll try and do that the whole way across. Right, and then the traffic management down here. I was wondering, like, why I couldn't get people to go in the left lane. Yeah, they can all go in both. It's carnage, but it works. All right, sorted. So yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with my San Francisco recreation. Oh, God, look. Look at all the habitats getting downgraded. They're all lacking oxygen. How have we managed that? Oh, there's no workers. We're two-thirds of our workers short. There's no efficiency going on. Massive trouble. All of these that get downgraded... We lose the jobs. Yeah, right. Okay, we've got to prioritize oxygen, which means deprioritizing other things. All right, so this is our workers. What has the most workers? It's iron. All right, let's just bring iron way down. And then science, we can we can split the science in half. Let's reduce the workers. Uh, bring the computer chips down. We only need 29 of those. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Oxygen is reprioritized. So we might have to play with that next time. God, we're down to 1,300 population. That went very wrong very quickly. It's amazing how much you need air on different planets, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. All of our numbers are back to normal now. So hopefully we'll start making oxygen again, maybe. But uh, you have to wait and find out next time what happens because we are done for today. <laughs> right, peace, love, and San Francisco. Bye, guys.